All right, so if we look here, let's uh, do some examples of uh, relating proton, electron, and charge of ions. So if we start with uh, our classic uh, sodium atom, so we have Na. Uh, it has a mass number of uh, 23 and an atomic number of 11. If we consider the uh, count of protons and electrons for the neutral sodium atom, we have uh, 11 protons, right? That's what makes the element sodium. And in the neutral atom, we would also have 11 electrons. If we consider instead the sodium ion, Na+, the way that we end up with the sodium ion is by losing one electron. Notice we still have 11 protons because we still have the element sodium, but now we have just 10 electrons. All right. So in the case of cations, positively charged ions, you'll always have more protons than electrons for the cation in the neutral atom. Obviously, there'll be equal numbers of protons and electrons. If we look at the chloride ion, or chlorine atom first, if we want to do that analogy, uh, so Cl, uh, if we looked at a particular isotope, maybe we'll look at the more abundant chlorine-35 isotope, uh, and chlorine obviously being atomic number 17, has 17 protons. and for the neutral atom also therefore 17 electrons. If we look at the chloride ion, Cl-, we still have the 17 protons, that's what makes us uh, chlorine, or in this case chloride, because now we have lost, uh, or I mean in this case actually gained one electron to have 18 electrons. And so the chloride ion having 18 electrons uh, like any anion, any negatively charged ion, will have more electrons than protons. And as we saw with sodium becoming the sodium ion, uh, we always have uh, more protons than electrons for cations. So hopefully this uh, helps to clarify the distinction between cations and anions and what's really going on. Uh, we don't have anything changing in the nucleus, so we're keeping the proton count in both cases. In the case of cations, we acquire that positive charge by losing electrons. In the case of anions, we acquire that negative charge by gaining electrons. And uh, therefore, we'll always have more electrons than protons for anions and always fewer electrons than protons for 